Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Marka Lover. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint another The King Eternal Monarch inspired design. This one is one that I call Tears in Frozen Time. It's inspired by episode 12 and without further ado, let's get started. Start by applying base coat. I'm using Unt Peel Off Base Coat. As usual, all the products used in this video are listed in the description box. I'm going to paint my index and pinky fingernails a luscious green, my middle and ring fingernails gray, and my thumbnail a light beige. For my index and pinky fingernails, I'm going to be creating the following abstract gradient. And for the middle and ring fingernails, I'm following suit with gray and blue. I wanted to add a little bit more depth and detail to the green, so I went in with the lighter green here and there on the index and pinky fingernails. And on top, I'm going to be stippling on clusters of this deep magenta shade, and these are supposed to be flowers. And this is inspired by the little bushes outside of the church that Igun and Chongte visit in episode 12. It's also the church where Igun's parents got married. I just really like the green tones and all the plants surrounding them in this scene, so I wanted to use that backdrop for my index and pinky fingernails. And the middle and ring fingernails are inspired by the legendary scene where Egon comes to rescue Tongte when she's all bloodied up and honestly about to die. And now that we're done with these designs, I'm top coating everything to seal it in. And the thumbnail is the focus of this design. I'm first sponging on the shades that I use on my index and pinky fingernails and basically just setting the backdrop of the scene, which I mentioned is the church where Egon's parents got married. And it's also where Tongte and Egon pose to get their photo taken. I also went in with a brush to add more green and to touch everything up. I'm top coating this to smooth it over for the next step. Like I said, I'm going to be drawing the scene where Igon and Chongte stop in front of the church and pose for a picture, and it's when the priest counts down to one and time stops that Igon makes the saddest realization of his future, or rather his lack of a future with Chongte. In this scene, it flashes back to when Egon stands in front of his blackboard. He writes down the length of time frozen every time, and we see 4,481 seconds circled, and that's actually the length of time that is frozen right now when they're about to take a picture. And of course, tears are just streaming down Egon's face continuously. And as viewers, we realize that Igon and Tungte will have a sad fate because whether they close the door or not, they won't be able to spend time together and time is so precious, but it just ends up being frozen and all that Igon can do when time is in standstill is to think of the times that he could have spent with Tungte and all the things that he could do with her, but he just can't. And that realization really broke him to pieces and that's why he starts crying. Of course, this time is a lot longer than is shown in the drama. And when you realize that as a viewer, I think you're able to empathize with Egon and you're able to see how sad that is and how he's ultimately lonely again. He said that when he met Tungto that he was glad that she was alive and that she actually existed because it made him feel less lonely in his world. But with time frozen again, he's all lonely. And therefore we see Egon stuck in this dilemma of whether he should close the door or not, of whether he should just let their lives go on, but separately. Thank you. 
And here's my finished Tears in Frozen Time inspired design. I know that this was kind of a sad video and a sad nail art for lack of better terms, but I kind of enjoyed going through these emotions with these characters and I look forward to the rest of the series.